Hey everybody, it's me, Greg Manorino. How are you today? It is Monday, September 11th, 2017. On this solemn day, before I even get started, I am going to ask you for a personal favor. What I'm about to talk about here is going to expose the in-our-face lies that are being spewed out of the mouths of the mainstream media and the mainstream financial channels as I am doing this video blog. Let's put a perspective on a few things here. Over the weekend we had Hurricane Irma which didn't prove to be as big uh, a deal as, as the media was forcing down the throats of all of us two weeks ago we had Hurricane Harvey. Now, let's reflect on how the stock market has responded to both of these hurricanes, more specifically Irma over the weekend. Um, as I am doing this video blog, the Dow Jones Industrial Average is up over 200 points. Now, here's where I, I want you to focus on here because I cannot believe frankly what the mainstream financial channels are trying to fist feed you and everybody else and the lies that are frankly beyond belief so what the mainstream financial channels are doing right now is pushing this narrative they're saying that the stock market is up as high as it is I mean this is a major rally because Hurricane Irma did not inflict as much damage as they expected it to. Now, this is how we know this is an out and out lie and the stock market is not rallying on that premise at all. Here we go. As Hurricane Irma was just hitting Florida the stock futures were up triple digits before anything was even reported and stock markets around the world were in rally mode around the world not just here in the United States why did that happen it seems kind of counterintuitive but let me put a perspective on this as most of you know who follow this blog here this is a fact of every single analyst whether you're on they're on the mainstream financial channels or on the alternative media there is not one other one that has been more accurate than this guy sitting right here with regard to what the Federal Reserve is going to do and has been doing I have been wrong only one time in all of the years that the Federal Reserve has been talking about raising rates one time I got it wrong I think my record is second to none so the reason why stocks are up around the world right now has very little to do with Hurricane Harvey and or Irma. The market, you see this little drawing I did for you right here, you see? The market is up right now because the Federal Reserve is done. Um, they're out of the way, they're not going to touch their balance sheet like I've been saying since day one. and. They probably won't raise rates this year. We might get one token at the end of the year because they have to try to remain credible. Maybe a 25 basis point uh, with regard to the short end of the curve here. And the market is getting another hit of drugs, another hit of easy money. And that is what's pushing the market higher. The mainstream financial channels are lying to you, lying to everybody. They're trying to again push the narrative that oh it's not it's because the damage to Ir that Irma inflicted isn't so bad our economic hit isn't going to be so bad well Goldman Sachs just on Harvey Goldman Sachs on Harvey said that that would shave a full percentage point off GDP moving forward <laughs> so you can understand that this is a complete false narrative that the mainstream financial ch channels are trying to fist feed you. This is just because the market is getting a hit of more drugs. The market is going to continue higher here. Um, 
uh, until it does it. The Fed is stuck. The Fed cannot do anything. That is why the market is higher. And I, I'm really going to ask you to share this video because we have to let people understand how they are being lied to and, and being manipulated by the mainstream media and the mainstream financial channels. They got to stop, start ignoring this stuff here. It's unbelievable. I mean, really, before the hurricane did anything, before any damage was reported, stock futures were up triple digits and stocks were rallying around the world. Not because of any damage which may or may not have occurred, because it didn't happen yet. But because the market globally, markets globally, realized the Fed is done. So that's why we are in rally mode, not just here in the United States, but around the world. And uh, that's the truth as to what is going on here. Um, and it's very disturbing. It really is. The market distortions are epic, out of control, and it's, being, it, it's going to destroy people, destroy them, when this all corrects to fair value. Understand, we are not going to experience a collapse or anything like that. At one point, this is going to correct to fair value, and we, you and I, need to capitalize on this and rip its face off because again the people unfortunately the masses are are going to be taken by utter surprise because of the lies uh, and fakery that is being pushed out of the mouths of the mainstream financial channel people who are reading scripts they know better than this um, again, I know some of these people on CNBC and these major channels out here. They are way smarter than what's coming out of their mouths over there. So they're literally reading a teleprompter. Oh, this is what you have to say to everyone. It's a shame that these people are prostituting themselves like this because it's going to cost everyone down the line here. But we can capitalize on this. Again, this is not about doom. This is not about gloom. This is about getting on the right side of this right now. Use the markets as a weapon against them, become your own central bank, bet against the debt here. Um, do not bet against this market in any meaningful way moving forward here, at least at this point. Uh, look, if you're a trader, look for every opportunity to be buying every single dip that comes your way. And if you're a stacker, look to add to your stack plural, because you, be, you should be stacking gold, more specifically silver, platinum, palladium as well. You should also be, I know you don't want to hear it a lot of you, but looking for other dollar alternatives as well, cryptocurrencies, Bitcoin, I don't care what China is, gonna, is doing right now, uh, I'm trying to outlaw it, doesn't matter. They're going to create a greater market because of this, believe me. And Bitcoin is almost at my target of 5,000, it's going higher than that. So uh, you need to be betting against the dollar as well. I have a little, we have a little blip higher today with regard to the dollar, but the trajectory for the dollar is much, much lower. Speaking of that, I just did an interview with Greg Hunter from USA Watchdog. Um, have a look at that uh, if you get a minute. It's very enlightening, <laughs> I think at least. Anyway. Do me this favor, people, uh, share this video, get it out there, let's expose the mainstream financial channels, garbage, lies, and fakery before the world. We need to do this. Um, it's unbelievable, it really is. All right. With that said, see you tomorrow.